Hello guys, what's up? This is Morteza and welcome to another episode here at A Coder's Journey where we are talking about writing clean code in C Sharp. In the last episode, we talked about the importance of using comments the right way and we also talked about using XML comments. Now in this episode and we'll probably, you know, in the next episode as well, we will talk about uh, naming naming things correctly choosing good names for classes methods parameters variables and why it is important to choose a good name again in my you know solution clean code i have created a new project naming and i'm going to work on this project i'm going to add my you know code in this project so that's why i'm going to close all these files now when it comes to choosing good names for you know uh, methods uh, parameters variables or classes there are different uh, characteristics that you should consider uh, for for you know a good name and we're going to talk about them as we go along in order to you know drive home my point i'm going to create a new class here and i'm going to call it calculator And I'm going to make this class public. First off, you shouldn't choose, you know, non-descriptive names for, for your classes, methods, and, you know, variables. For example, suppose this is a calculator class. And uh, what if I, you know, just call it C, right? As an initial for, you know, calculator. For classes, sometimes people don't do that. But for variables... They of course do it. For example, they go to I don't know program.cs and they create a var variable of type uh, I don't know int and they choose the name i for this. Or for you know uh, like uh, loops, we have used it a lot. This uh, you know counter variable uh, sometimes it is called i and uh, a lot of people don't use a more descriptive name. Try to use more descriptive names here for example instead of saying i uh, let's say for example it is called person index right so it is very important to first off choose uh, descriptive names for your classes methods and uh, you know uh, for your uh, you know variables another thing uh, which is very important when it comes to choose a name for your you know uh, different uh, language constructs is to uh, choose names which are accurate. For example, suppose I have a class, I have a method here, I'm going to call it, you know, add, and I'm going to take in two variables, right? But in the method, I'm actually going to multiply these values. So this name is not accurate. This method is calculating the multiplication of these two input parameters, but the name is add. So try to always choose you know, a, a, an accurate name. Sometimes, because of the, uh, you know, uh, refactorings that we do, sometimes we forget to, you know, update the name of our methods. So it is very important to, you know, whenever you change the body of a method, uh, you will probably need to change the, you know, name of that method as well. And of course, here for parameters, you can, you know, choose more descriptive names. And for choosing uh, more descriptive names, I don't know whether you uh, use that technique or not, but in Visual Studio, you can, you know, select, for example, this parameter and then press Control R twice from your keyboard and then update the name of this, you know, parameter and all the references to that parameter will be updated as well. So I can say first number and this, you know, gets updated here as well as in the body of the method. And again, I can say, okay, second uh, number. And of course, because this is, you know, the multiply, I can say this is the multiply. So it is very important to first off choose, you know, descriptive names and accurate names. When it comes to choosing a good name, sometimes I have seen people, you know, uh, making kind of an abbreviation out of a name and choosing that abbreviation for example for calculator they use calc so don't do that you know uh, the length of uh, those names you know is important using names which are shorter like this one or using names for which are you know longer than than needed again is not a good practice for example for multiply i think this name 
is, is a good name for a calculator class, it makes sense. I mean, when you look at a multiply method in a calculator class, you instantly understand what this method does. So it doesn't, you know, need to be longer. For example, suppose I name this method multiply uh, two numbers and return the result to the calling code. It doesn't make sense for this simple, you know, method to have such a long name. And it doesn't make sense for a class to, you know, uh, have a shortened, uh, you know, name. So be very careful about the length of, uh, of your names. So I'm going to say this is multiply and this is calculator. Again, uh, the names of your, you know, uh, parameters are also very important. Suppose, for example, I uh, change the name to A. Uh, one thing that I want to point out is uh, searchability. When, for example, you want to search for a token, for a name, if uh, you choose a very, uh, you know, uh, short name, and then you control F in Visual Studio and, you know, ask for A's, you see a lot of A's will be, you know, uh, uh, will uh, be matched to my search term. But, for example, for second number, whenever you search for a second number, only two matches are found. So when you choose longer more descriptive names you can find them uh, much more you know easily than when you for example choose a short name so be careful about the length of, of the names that you choose and the last thing i want to talk about when it comes to choosing a good name for our for example methods or classes is to choose names which are pronounceable for example suppose in my i don't know program.cs i come here and i say okay I need a first name. When you or another, you know, programmer wants to uh, read read this code, when when you come across this uh, variable, it is a little bit hard at first glance to see what it is, uh, you know, what what the name is. So because you have made an abbreviation out of the name, it is very, uh, you know, difficult to recognize uh, instantly what this variable represents so do not do that you know just uh, try the full version and write first name this will help help uh, make your code cleaner so uh, let's go over uh, the uh, characteristics of the names the good names which we talked about in this episode first off we said that our names should be you know expressive or descriptive they should exactly tell us what for example that piece of method or class or variable stands for uh, another thing that we talked about was to uh, you know be careful about the accuracy of our names for example if this method is doing uh, multiplication it shouldn't be named add so the name is not accurate your names should be accurate another thing which i talked about was the length of your names for example a is not uh, you know long enough Sometimes choosing very long names, again, is a, a, ba a bad practice. And the last thing that I talked about was to choose names which are pronounceable, which, you know, can be pronounced easily. So these were all the, you know, topics I wanted to cover. Uh, and in the, you know, upcoming videos, we will probably get into more detail about choosing good names for, uh, you know, different things we've got in our code. Uh, and finally, if you haven't, you know, subscribed to this channel, please do consider subscribing. And uh, you can share this video with a friend who is trying to learn the topic of clean code in C Sharp. And leave a comment if you've got anything to say about this episode. I'd be more than happy to, you know, um, get into the discussion. And uh, stay tuned for my upcoming videos in this series, Clean Code. And I hope... You are enjoying watching these videos. Thank you. Take care. Till later. Bye-bye.